What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here and in today's video we're going to take a look and see exactly what is in this big box that was sent over from the team at Sandmark. Now this is not a sponsored video in any way. We're just going to jump in, take a look and see what exactly was sent over. Now cracking this open, I have taken a peek but I haven't actually looked in depth at the products yet. So the very first thing is this guy right here, if we can get some focus. So this is an Apple Watch band, again, from the team over at Sandmark. This is for the 44 or 45 millimeter. And if you guys remember in a previous video, we actually went over a lot of the things that I didn't like about my last Apple band. And I've actually since switched back to just the Nike band, if we can focus here, that came stock on my SE. I've been playing a lot of golf this summer, so it was important for me to have a sports-oriented band, but I find it just wreaks havoc on my wrist, and I wanted something a little bit more fashion forward, so went ahead, got one of these guys here, and let's go ahead and let's take a closer look. Now, package already, I can tell, is super small, way smaller than most competing bands that I see, especially those coming from Apple or other vendors. It's nicely wrapped, we're not gonna nicely unwrap it. We're just gonna get right in here and take a look. And here, wow, so this already, I can tell, is super thick. And here is the first part of the band. So we do, of course, have those coveted Apple slide locks there. And then here we do have the dual loops on this one as well. So one right here, one here. And actually now looking at it, we can see Sandmark is stamped right on the inside. And one of the things I didn't like about my last band is I actually lost both of these loops. So it just made it really inconvenient to wear. So we're gonna go ahead, we're going to first take the lock off here. It's as easy as pushing down on the release and pulling out. So this, oh, a lot of goop in there. This, like I said, is the actual Nike one and it's having a hard time to focus because of the the holes that are through it, you can actually see through it. But if we take a look here, we're gonna have that lock go in. And so one thing that I notice about this that I notice with a lot of the third party accessories for the Apple Watch is it fits like 99%. Actually, this one fits a little bit better than my Nomad one did. But I find if there's any little bit of wiggle at all on that strap or on that locking mechanism, it tends to sort of suppress the vibration for your notifications and your indicators. And for me, I work retail and I don't like having chimes and bangs and bings and boops when it comes to anything coming through. So I rely on the vibration. So hopefully that's not too bad. You guys can kind of see, hopefully that conveys over. Man, this was dirty that uh, the actual factory Apple ones, they're very, very snug. So let's go ahead, let's put this one in. And that one, truth be told, to, oh, it's just because there's grime on it. I was gonna say that one didn't even lock, but I think that's just because it's dirty in there. So let's take this guy here, we'll run it through, give it just a little bit of a cleanup. There we go, and let's give that a whirl. So, there, and actually, hopefully you guys can see, see how that one's got a little, little more play than the other one? I think I just need to clean it, because this one's pretty good. This one, this one's got a little bit of play, but that's fine. Now, with any natural leather strap as well, it's going to be potentially a little bit uncomfortable at first, and you can see right here, if we can focus, see how it's like not really bending or conforming just yet to my wrist. Leather is gonna be inherently stiff. You can try soaking it as well. I find some leather accessories just tend to be a little bit more malleable when they're slightly wet. You can wear it wet, and then at that point, it'll dry sort of conformed. But right away, that's actually not too bad. If we can take a look, there's the strap there. And I actually really like that. So the one thing that I really like is that the buckle right here, it's lightly branded with Sandmark, but it's actually fairly close to the color of the watch itself. And so far, like I said, it's a little stiff. That's gonna be the case for any accessory. Let's put in my code here. And 
if we can get this in frame again, here is the strap. Now overall, I actually really, really like that. It's nice and thin, but it's also fairly elegant, which I really, really like. So definitely very happy to get rid of this guy. I am gonna save it because this is good for like the athletic side of having the watch, but I just find it's a little bit uncomfortable for everyday use. It traps moisture underneath the silicone, gives me a little bit of a rash on my wrist. Maybe I'm just a sensitive boy, who knows? Uh, so we're gonna take a look and see what else is in this box now. And this, I took a peek at, I didn't open it, but I'm very, very excited. And it's this guy right here. And I don't know, is that coming through? Yep, there it is right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of this box so we can get a little bit of the table real estate back. And this guy here is a leather carrying case for a MacBook. And they have a lot of different kinds. This one specifically is for the 14 inch, which is what I have right here, the 2021 with the M1 Pro. And my big curiosity is exactly how tight this fits because I do have a case on my MacBook and there are times where if you have a case, things that were made with like perfect fitment like this stuff here, like little notebook sleeves and whatnot, they might not fit properly because they were made for the measurements of the actual negative device itself, that naked from the factory appearance. So I wanna put this guy to the test I really, really dig the packaging that Sandmark has. It's pretty like non-intrusive, I guess, if that's the word. Like it's not super big, bulky, flashy. It's nice and minimal, which is fantastic. And like I said before, we're not really gonna take a nice soft approach in opening this. We're kind of just gonna tear open and take a look and see what we have inside. Now, this is their genuine leather edition. And these things are not cheap either. I'll have links for both of them in the video description, but wow, that is super nice. I'm just gonna take some of the tape off of these zippers. Maybe if I can get under this one, maybe that one will have to stay, oh, there we go. And peel. This feels, get out of here. Get out of here. You know what? Get out of here. <laughs> this feels fan. Oh, there's a pocket there too. That's super nice. So here is the little like carrying briefcase. You actually do have a nice little handle. So when you let go of it, the tension brings it down pretty flush. But of course, if you hold it, especially with the weight of the MacBook, that should kind of stay out so you can grab it. This is so soft. And the only thing that I can kind of say is that it feels like one of my wife's expensive purses or like a really nice leather jacket. This is great. And then you have dual zippers here. The zippers, instead of having metal latches, which I was a little worried that might hurt the leather, they're actually just wrapped in leather themselves. Come on, get, there we go. So those are just actually wrapped and tipped with leather. You do have a double zipper as well. And it looks like this zipper is actually coated or sealed. So I wonder if this has any like water resistance to it. It's nice because you guys can't even really see it. I don't know, yeah, it's focusing. So if we take a look, open that up, see how that's got like a seal on it? That's super nice. Now inside, of course, we're gonna take the insert out so we can get a little bit of room. Oh, and this is padded very nice on the inside. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's like a like an Alcantara sort of suede on the inside. That is not going to leave any marks at all. That's brilliant. I am gonna peel the tape off this guy too. Now, the real test, we're gonna take this guy here. Like I said, this is a, who makes this? Um, these guys, subcase. So this is a subcase case, hence the name, that's on this MacBook. And we're gonna see if it fits in this Sandmark. Oh, and it fits wonderfully. Now, there's not a lot of room for other stuff. And you do have this little guy here. Let's see, does that expand? Oh yeah. So you've got your little pouch right here as well. Hide my face so you guys can see it. Little pouch, boop, 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 boop. 
Hello. Uh, this is where you're gonna put your cable. Now, if it wasn't for the 14 inch having MagSafe, which I actually personally prefer anyway, I'm glad they brought that back. But if it was like a MacBook Air, you could very easily put the small brick and like the USB-C cable in here. For Apple, their brick's a little bit bigger. I'm actually just gonna go grab that, bear with me. A few moments later. Okay, so this is the 45 watt brick that Apple gives you. And this is always just kind of like under my coffee table. So I forgot how small it actually is. And there's no problem to take this, throw that right inside, zip that up. Now over time, you might start to see some marks on there, but you can get smaller like 50 watt, 65 watt, even smaller 100 watt bricks than this guy here. So I don't think it'll be a problem. I am worried slightly about this showing some wear and stretching from carrying that brick around. But honestly, with so much battery life, like what is it, over 20 hours of battery life, maybe you won't even need this, especially if you're just going out for work for the day. But zippers are insanely smooth. That handle is super nice as well. We're gonna get into this zipper. Everything is just so precise. And if you guys can see right here, this is literally perfect for the MacBook. It's not like too big to the point that it's gonna like slide around on you, but it's not so small that it makes it hard to get in and out. With how thin the MacBook is and kind of how nice the inner lining is on this briefcase, it's a dream to slide in and out of this thing. What did he say? And I know that sounds a little weird, but hopefully you pick up what I'm putting down. Super easy, super elegant, and overall super, super nice. So honestly, if you're taking your MacBook to school or you're taking it on the road, let's say you're a business professional, this guy is going to impress so many more people than like a backpack to carry this in. And with that front pouch, like we talked about before, you can throw your brick in there. I'm again, slightly hesitant just because I feel like it will sort of patina and make a little bit of a mark. And the front pouch as well is not lined to the same degree. It feels like the front pouch has lining that might be water resistant or, or self wicking, but it's not that nice plush Alcantara sort of inside that you would come to expect with the main pouch on this guy here. So I'm gonna leave detailed specs um, right here maybe for you guys to know exactly what's going on with more information on this guy. Um, again, this was just sent over from Sandmark just for the heck of things, just for me to check it out. The band I'm super excited about. This is definitely going to be my everyday band, especially where golf season is coming to a close. I only have a couple of weeks left before maybe we go inside with the simulators. Canadian winter is coming, folks, and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, if by chance, actually, you guys want to see what's in my golf bag as well, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do something. I replaced pretty much every single club in my bag this year, so it's helped me improve my game, enjoy it a little bit more, and... Uh, hasn't come without an expense. So that was an interesting endeavor. But if you love these guys here, again, we have this and we have this guy right here. Go ahead and leave a like. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any Sandmark gear of your own, if you're looking at it, and if you're looking, what specifically you're looking at. I'd love to learn more. And then for other bands, let me know in the comments what you're rocking right now, just because I'm always curious. But until my next video, my name is Quasi Dog. You guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you all in my next one. Take care.